My dear friends, you have come here to this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. Jimmy and I were in Florida, and I rented the cheapest car that I could, so we walk out to a Chevy Cavalier, and seven or eight-year-old Jimmy looks at me and says, Michael, this car is embarrassing. <laughs> and I'm looking down at him, and he says, I saw a convertible Sebring up there. He said, you're going to march back up there. You're going to tell him you're going to get that convertible Sebring, and that's going to be our car. My dear friends, you have come here to this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament, so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your hands and declare your consent before God and his church. I, James, take you, Taylor, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Taylor, take you, James, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. so happy for the two of you um so raise your glass here's to taylor and jimmy my best friend and the love of her life
I can't wait for the next phase, Jim, where you go from brother, son, friend to husband. As we celebrate them today, my greatest wish for them both is that they always treasure each other the way they have these past 10 years, and that they always know that their kids will love their Aunt Savvy way more than they will ever love their own parents. <laughs> so to my big sister, my big brother, I love you so much, and I wish you nothing but happiness for the next 1,000 years.